Okay, so um, this is a semi-live demo. So I think uh, a lot of people are really interested to see like what our opt-in experience is. So I went ahead and recorded a little demo of that. So um, yeah, say we're on threads uh, and I decide to go to my settings over here um, and I can go to my account. And now there's this new row called Fediverse sharing. And I think it's actually kind of tricky for threads because we have like 130 million people using it monthly but a lot of people haven't heard of the Fediverse. They don't know what Activity Pub is, uh, but we want to give them the ability to enter that kind of like uh, experience. So um, we have to both explain the Fediverse and <laughs> explain all the disclaimers and then make sure they feel good about the, the outcome that you. So we kind of have this planetary analogy for the Fediverse. So we talk about how it's a bunch of different servers. Um, it's an interconnected social network. You can choose whichever server you prefer. Um, these planets are kind of talking to each other. Uh, we do require a few things. So you have to be a public profile to turn on Fediverse just because, uh, you know, the Fediverse is so public in nature. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we even talk about other servers, you know, having different content standards and different, you know, choices of how they moderate uh, content. So this sounds intriguing. You can hit next and then you get a bunch of different disclaimers. So uh, in our beta, our current alpha right now, uh, you actually can't see replies yet. So we're working on that super hard. But right now it's kind of only like a broadcast out and get likes in moment. Um, and then even this one, which is we can't guarantee posts get deleted. So I think this is kind of like a downside of the protocol that we're today, but I think it's important to kind of like let people know that if you post something and another server grabs a copy, we can't necessarily enforce that it gets deleted. Um, but if that sounds good and you read all of our uh, privacy policies and help centers, uh, you can turn on the sharing. So um, you click this button, you get a nice little toast. And then this is the exciting part. So if you go to your profile, well, first of all, the row is updated. You have this pill now. So you get to see that like uh, I have Fediverse sharing turned on and I can copy my username there. But I think what's exciting about this is it, it will become kind of an advertisement for who has uh, sharing turned on. So say, uh, Evan, I'm gonna use your, your profile, that's okay. Uh, here I see that Evan actually has Fediverse sharing turned on. And another thing we want to do is make it uh, clear to you when something you do on threads is going to broadcast the Fediverse. So here I have Fediverse sharing turned on and Evan has Fediverse sharing turn on, turn on. So my reply will go to the Fediverse. So we want to make sure this is like understandable and you're not surprised by that behavior. Um, and yeah, so that's our opt-in flow. Um, I have a few small things to demo. I have uh, I'm 245 in, keeping track of time. <laughs> so one thing, um, when you make a new post on threads, uh, we wait five minutes to send the post out to the Fediverse. So this little icon shows that uh, it's it's in the queue kind of. So you have five minutes to like edit the post to change your mind. Um, but then when you refresh the post, uh, it should be just a static icon. So uh, that's that. And my post is on uh, Mastodon, as you can see. Uh, and then two other quick things. So one, um, we do have quote posts on threads. There's a big debate on how to represent quote posts. Um, but one thing we did is we actually went to the community and saw kind of what the community thought. So Sebastian had this awesome blog post about threads uh, and kind of point out that we had this kind of like somewhat not great representation of code posts. So what we did is we actually got a bunch of feedback from other Fediverse developers and we did two things. We did one thing to kind of like add instant support for MISKey and we kind of had a version that's like more towards as like FEP around how to represent quote posts. So that's the JSON we have now. And quote posts in some softwares actually render uh, like this today. So we kind of like have instant functionality and we're kind of building for the future. And then the last thing uh, is just super small, but um, say you're on like a permalink of a post that's federated, as you can see by the icon, we include a header in the JSON uh, to the activity pub ID. So this is again, a bit of kind of like quality of life thing we did um, based on feedback from people. So I have 45 seconds left. Um, <laughs> I think the last thing I'll say uh, now is like, I know there's a ton of skepticism about threads entering the Fediverse. It's completely understandable. Uh, but I do want to kind of like make a plea that uh, I think everyone on the team has like really good intentions. We really want to be like a really good member of the community and give people the ability to experience what the Fediverse is um, and the power of open protocol. So uh, I wish you all could sit on the team because we <laughs> are really trying hard. Uh, we don't, do have to work with a lot more stakeholders. So it can't be quite as fast as some of the awesome startups we see here. But um, yeah, we really hope to be a good member of the community and uh, really excited to be here. So thank you all. Seven seconds to spare. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. We all appreciate it.
Thank you very much. And what about a round of virtual applause to our demonstrators? Demonstrating life is difficult. Demonstrating life with somebody like me cuts you off if, if necessary is even tougher. So, um, and of course, we're seeing great, great software here. We will have another round of demos uh, in the first hour tomorrow morning. And I now hand it back to Kalia.